I want to give uh, Minnesota, Mike Zimmer, I give their organization a lot of credit. Uh, they came out here tonight and they uh, physically, physically um, uh, uh, had a, took it to us and uh, we had a difficult time getting uh, them off the field in terms of, uh, of uh, their offense. Uh, but to uh, our credit, uh, I really was impressed with the way we came back in there and got back to where we could win a ball game that uh, uh, was uh, really a, a, a kind of in doubt. So uh, uh, real disappointing, disappointing for these guys and here disappointing for our coaches. But uh, uh, I can't say enough about uh, how uh, well Zim had to, uh, their team coached up. Jerry, not only as a boss, but also as a football fan, how frustrated do you get by the lack of a running game? Well, I uh, give um, Mike Zimmer a lot of, and his staff, I give them a lot of credit. Uh, uh, you just uh, uh, basically could have put a sign on the uh, uh, start of the game that said Zeke's not going anywhere, and uh, uh, the, that was the story of the game. And uh, so he uh, designed a plan to win the game that way. Uh, we uh, uh, had trouble getting them off the field at times, and uh, uh, that limited us from uh, uh, getting uh, uh, more of our ups, which we needed to. Uh, I thought uh, uh, Dak was outstanding. Uh, Cooper was outstanding uh, tonight. Uh, and I really thought our protection was uh, really impressive there tonight. So uh, all of that gave us a chance to see some guys do some good things. But uh, they're a good football team, and uh, you uh, uh, you can lose those kind of games just like we lost them. Does the way that you guys struggled running the ball make you second guess running twice there on that final possession in the red zone? No, I'm not going to uh, get into that. Uh, since it didn't work, I'd like to have uh, uh, we'd all like to have that back, but uh, uh, you know you uh, got to you got to keep trying. And uh, uh, again, like you say, you had it down there. And to their credit, they had it down to where you either make your makes or you they got the ball game. But they were in position all night long to win that game. We were having to come back and and uh, get up there to where we had a shot uh, all day long. And so. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, the game, um, I haven't looked at the total on the stats, but uh, I know this from the standpoint of the plan, uh, they seem like uh, they were able to move their ball uh, more assuredly uh, than uh, I would have expected. How much, Jerry, is, your this, thoughts how much on of this is a standing? How are you with missed tackles? I mean, it seems like Dalvin Cook was breaking tackles all night. How much is that concerning? Because it's not the first time that teams have been running the ball well. Against you. Well, I just think uh, I do, and I think we can give him a lot of the credit for a lot of those missed tackles. Those are some uh, good linebackers bouncing off uh, making some of those plays. But still, uh, uh, all in all, uh, they had a good game plan there. They uh, uh, did their screens, uh, did that routes out of the backfield, got him the ball real good. And uh, again, I thought they uh, came in with a good plan that uh, won the day for us. I, we've got, uh, we have a, uh, a, a really a top team. And uh, uh, this one um, is, uh, uh, we're going to have to get over it. Uh, we're uh, sitting here tied with uh, Philadelphia in the division now. We're going to have to uh, uh, play these kind of games to uh, get where we want to be this year. Regarding in no, that. In no way do I see uh, uh, our team, uh, one that uh, we just played a well-coached team. We played a good team, played a good personnel team. And uh, their quarterback uh, had a good night. Didn't have as good a night, I didn't think, as ours, but he won. But uh, that's not in any way to diminish uh, how well Dak played. Regarding where you are in the in the conference and division, how much of this is a standings setback? Well, I, I think it. Um, uh, we know um, Philadelphia is coming, and uh, we know the caliber of the players that we're playing. And so, uh, uh, from the standpoint of numbers, from the standpoint of where you stand, this was a. Uh, a big game for us, and it's going to make it that much harder to get where we want to go. But uh, make no mistake about it, uh, uh, Zim and um, uh, Vikings had uh, everything to say about this tonight. They ran the ball 10 consecutive times in that go ahead drive. How <coughs> frustrating was that just to see that you couldn't stop them down there? Well, again, um, um, that is. And uh, uh, it, uh, uh, you know, you, you just uh, knew when we were. Uh, down there for our last two offensive plays. We didn't want to give them the ball back. 
that probably influenced the way they moved the ball all night, especially running it, although they were running out of time. But still, I'm sure it might have influenced what we were doing down there to get the time off the clock. This team I don't want to know. I haven't talked. I mean, I do want to know, but I haven't talked to the coach. This team, is the Vikings, is in the playoff picture as it stands right now. Does it concern you that your team hasn't beaten a team that's in that playoff picture yet this season? No, I'm, I'm concerned uh, just because uh, we played a good team tonight. It had been a big win for us. Even though we're at home, it would have been a big win for us to get this win and especially to come back and do it with uh, a lot of good performances we had tonight. Uh, but we were we were short, and that means we've got a bigger challenge now for these next seven ball games.